book signing events. Fancy an ongoing collection of tips, resources, insights, and free reports for children's authors? Too easy. Take a quick moment to subscribe and click the bell icon and you will never miss out again. Okay, in this video we are going to look at the 25 do's and don'ts of book signing events. Think of them as tools for publicity and for networking opportunities. You never know who is going to turn up and what alliances will be formed. Set your expectations realistically and try and learn something from every event. If you sell a lot of books, well done. Now figure out what went well and what was not so successful and repeat and improve at other venues. Do seek media coverage before the event by contacting local press and radio. Do let your current fans know where you will be appearing via your newsletter. Do send promo material such as posters and bookmarks to the bookstore two weeks in advance and bring more with you on the day. Do ask if the store will help promote the event by handing out flyers to their customers in the run-up to your appearance. Do notify local online, what's on, calendars of your appearance. Do tell your friends to come along. People attract more people to see what's going on. Do get help. Having a friend or two on hand for crowd control or keeping your table tidy, helps to give the illusion of success. Do use props or gimmicks or puppets anything you can bring to capi your attention do offer to give a presentation do set up an eye-catching sign so you can be seen from across the store do smile it's amazing how many people forget this simple task just say hello and people will stop and chat do have a sign up sheet or a method of collecting contact details such as email addresses you can follow up and add them to your nest litter do send thank you notes to the manager after the event. You will stand out from the crowd and be more likely invited back next time. Don't sit down. Stand up as much as you possibly can. People will walk past you if you are not up at their level. Don't stand or sit behind a table. The table is a barrier to conversation. Do be engaging. Move the table to the back and stand in front or to one end. Do greet customers as they come into the store. Don't disrespect the staff. Do make friends with them and they may well help spread the word. Don't use hard selling as a tactic, you are not a second-hand car salesman. Most people will not be buying books in your genre. Don't expect the staff to find you in a doance, that's your job. Do the legwork. You will soon find that your role is not so much an author but that of a sales and marketing professional for your own work. Don't be too disappointed if you don't have a crowd. Step back, review it, improve it and repeat it. The more you do the better you will become. For now, thanks for watching. See you in print. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more tips, resources, insights, and free reports for children's authors.